Hi yogis, this is Cole Chance with Yoga TX. Really happy to be back in the studio and shooting some more videos with you all. Today I'm going to do a full, we'll do a full body flow. So we'll start sitting and then we'll stand up and we'll conclude coming back down. So let's just go ahead and open up our whole body here. So go ahead and come to seated. You can sit on top of a block, a pillow, a blanket, anything. Sometimes it's easier to have your hips up to get into this pose. So whatever is more comfortable for you, please find that. And go ahead and close your eyes. Let's bring our hands together at your chest and rest your thumbs on your sternum. So when you take a big inhale, your chest is expanding and pushing your thumbs away slightly. And then exhale, your rib cage falls. And then inhale. And release. And go ahead and flutter your eyes open. Hands up, look up. And bring it down through center. This time, arms wide. Inhale, hands up, look up. And inhale, hands center. One more time. Inhale, hands up, look up. And this time, come all the way forward. So plant your hands in front of you. Keeping your hips on the ground, start to walk your hands forward here. So you can push the floor away. So you're connecting your hips as you tiptoe your hands forward. So relax your head here. Wherever it is, just let it hang. You can even turn it left to right and shake your head yes and no. And go ahead and walk back up. Take your right hand to the right side, left hand, palm facing up. Inhale, up and over. So you'll put a bend in your right hand. You want your chest to be turning towards the sky, so think about your heart shining up. We don't want to be collapsing. Looking up and bending over. Big side body stretch here. And really reach your fingertips into the corner of the room, so the right corner of the room, reaching with your left hand. A couple more breath cycles. Another inhale. And exhale, we'll switch sides. So right palm up, and inhale over. And with your left hand here, if your right hip wants to come up, you can be also grounding by pushing the ground away with your left hand and reaching over with your right hand. So opposing forces. On an inhale, you can come up a little bit. And an exhale, reach towards the corner of the room. Another time. And then reach. Come back center, and we'll take a seated twist here. So left hand on your right knee, right hand behind your hips. Don't have it too far back, because we want to turn around a straight spine. So if I'm turning from here, my spine won't be straight. So really, I want to put my hand right kind of behind me here. So I'll inhale up, and then exhale, twist. You can inhale for length. And exhale, twist. One more time, inhale for length. And exhale, twist. We'll switch sides here. So right hand to your left knee. Left hand behind, kind of behind your sacrum. We'll inhale for length. Twist. Turning your head around last. Inhale, and twist. One last time. Come back to 
center. Beautiful. So we'll turn towards the front of our mat and come to hands and knees. So we want, first and foremost, our hands wide. Most of your weight coming on the L of your hand here. So think about, you can even lift the other three fingers. Roll your chest through. So think about your scapula is going down your back. So shoulders over wrist. My hips are over my knees. On an inhale, I'm gonna pull my chest through even farther, tilt my pelvis up, belly down, head up. On an exhale, I'll push the ground away. As I pull my spine towards the sky, my belly towards my spine, I tilt my pelvis, my tailbone down. Drop my chin to my chest. Inhale, come back through. and kind of the action of dragging your hands energetically towards your knees. So we're not actually gonna move them, but pull that way. And again, reverse. And push back, heels, heel, uh, hips to heels. Take a couple breaths here, and we're gonna move up to down dog. So coming forward, we'll tuck our toes. We'll push back into down dog. So start to pedal your feet out here very generously. Bend your knees, shift your weight into one hip, and then the other. Really push the ground away. We still have our palms wide and strong. Let's inhale up to your toes. Exhale, bend our knees so that your belly can go onto your knees. So we'll be really deep here. We'll inhale, tilt our pelvis up. See if you can keep the connection with your belly and your thighs. And then straighten out. So we'll do that again. Come up onto your toes. We'll bend really low, connect belly to thighs. Then lift the hips, keeping the connection, and then straighten our legs. Good. Start to walk up to the front of your mat. We'll put our hands on our shins, flat back, and think about a little bit of a cobra action in your back. So a little bit of an arch here. And release. Let your body hang. Another inhale. Hands to shins. A little arch in the back. Looking forward, not looking down and forward, not so that you have a curve in your neck here. So we want to be just a few feet in front of the mat. And exhale. Bend your knees, we'll come all the way up. Hands high, arms by the side of your ears. And exhale, hands to heart center. So we'll inhale up. And exhale, come all the way through center. Take a micro bend in your knees, bow all the way forward. Drop your deck. Inhale, halfway lift, arch in your back. Slight arch in your back, pushing your shins away. And exhale, fold. The micro bend in your knees come all the way up. Gaze up, look up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So close your eyes and take a few minutes here, a few moments here, and kind of rock back and forth on your feet, feeling the four corners of each foot. So really feeling your base, your connection with the earth. Roll your shoulder blades onto your back. Knit your front ribs together. Lift your kneecaps. 
and feel the connection with your feet. Mountain pose. Inhale, look up, hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Drop your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, plant your hands. We'll step back with our right foot. So I'll have my left knee over my left ankle. I'm up on the toes of my back foot. My back foot is as strong and straight as I can get it. So if it needs to be bent, that's fine. Come up onto the tent palms of your fingertips. Tent palms, I'm not sure. The fingers of your palms. And see if you can shine your heart forward. So again, that kind of cobra action. So bring your shoulder blades onto your back. One more inhale. And exhale, let's drop our back knee. You can keep your toes tucked. You can also untuck them. I think I can be a little more stable with them tucked, but it's personal, personal preference. So on an inhale, I'm going to scissor my thighs together. So that's going to straighten my pelvis out. And I'm going to come up and place my hands onto my knees here. So just take a breath here. On an inhale, let's bring our hands all the way up. Hands up, look up. On an exhale, we'll cactus our arms and sink your hips down. On an inhale, come up. So your scissor your thighs together again so you can really feel what that action does. It brings me higher up. I'll have more of a um, 90 degree angle here. And exhale, chest forward, elbows going back. Inhale up. And exhale, down. And you can plant your hands. We'll lift our back knee. I'm gonna step back to down dog. Take a couple steps here to set it up. Let's shift forward into plank pose. So I'm pushing my heels back to the back wall. I have my belly up and in. Again, I'm going to bring my chest through, kind of bring my heart through, pushing the ground away. Let's drop our knees and come all the way down slowly with your elbows in to the ground. Good. Keeping our elbows in, not letting them fly to the side. Let's inhale, really plant the tops of your toes into the ground here. So we're really gonna root our pelvis, root the tops of our feet, and inhale, lift. Another inhale. And release. Pushing the ground away. Heels to hips, hips to heels. Come forward, tuck your toes, press back, down dog. So we'll take our right leg up and we're gonna step it up through to our hands. So if you need to use your hand to bring up or if you need to take several steps, either or. So now I'll have my right knee over my right ankle. My back leg is strong and straight as I can get it. And I'm pulling my chest through, shoulder blades onto my back, looking up. Just drop my back knee here. Plant my left hand on the inside of my right foot. As I pull back on my right hip, I'm going to lift my right arm up to the sky. So pulling back on my right hip is going to help me twist because I'm kind of open to, towards the left right here. So by pulling back on my right hip, I'm twisting open and really pushing the ground away here with my left hand. My left arm wants to kind of do this, but we're gonna keep it on, keep my shoulder on my back. One more inhale. And exhale, bring, my, bring your right arm down. We'll lift our back knee. Bend and take a big step up. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Micro bend in the knees and we'll rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. 
inhale, rise, and exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, plant my hands. This time I'll step back with my left foot into a runner's lunge. Pulling my chest through again, up on my tiptoes, really shooting forward. Most of my weight is up here. Everything's coming forward, like I'm getting ready to launch off. Take another inhale. And exhale, I'll drop my back knee. If anyone has knee problems, you can double up mats or put a blanket underneath the mat as well. That can be really helpful. So I'm going to scissor my thighs together to get that stability. You can also lift up on your pelvic floor. Inhale and rise. I'll place my hand right here. So we'll just take a moment right here to feel everything going on. Again, you can be pulling back on your right hip to keep your pelvis straight. So let's inhale, hands up. And we'll come up to a 90 degree. And then exhale, cactus your arms, pull your chest through, and sink. Inhale, come up. And exhale, sink. And this may not feel or look like a lot of movement to you, but you should, you, you'll be able to feel it. It's more of the action. And exhale, sink. Plant the hands. I'll come up with my back knee and I'll come back to down dog. Shift forward to plank pose. We'll take a few breaths here, finding your pose strong and solid. Not letting my shoulders come up in my ears. I'm rolling them on my chest. Drop my knees, keeping my elbows in. I'll come all the way back down. Untucking my toes. If it's available to you, we'll clasp our hands behind our back. If it's not, you can place them on the mat with your palms facing down. So whichever one you'd like to do today. But let's inhale and exhale. And then inhale, pressing down into the ground. I'll pull my chest up. So I'm really pressing into my pelvis and the tops of my feet here. Another inhale. And release. Plant your hands. Push your hips back to your heels. Take a breath. Shift the weight forward into your hands. Untuck your toes. Push back. Down dog. Let's lift our left leg up. Pull it all the way through, however you'd like to get it there. And we'll shine our chest through on the tiptoes of my back foot. And again, my knee over my heel. Really feeling this right psoas here. It's a good, good stretch. Let's plant our right hand on the inside of our left foot. As I open up to the left, I pull my left hip back and that helps me twist. I'm also, my shoulder just came in, so I always have to check that. One more inhale. And exhale, plant your hands. Take a deep bend in your back knee. We'll shoot up to the top of the mat, plant your both of your feet, plant your hands, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, rise. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let's step all the way back to plank. So step back with both feet. And let's hold plank for just a couple breaths here. 
cultivating the core energy and come all the way down to your belly. You can come down through your knees or you can come down straight, keeping your belly in and your elbows in. This time let's take our hands off the mat here. Put them up on, tint your fingers. Make a tint with your fingers. I think that's, that's what I need to say. Roll your shoulder blades onto your back and inhale. Push up and then draw your fingers back energetically to pull your chest through. And release. Plant your hands. Let's push back to child's pose. Really walk your fingers forward as much as you can and feel a stretch underneath your armpits. And feel the rhythm of your breath. Any vibrations going on. The texture of energy moving through your body. Open mouth, exhale. We'll come back forward and we'll come to seated. So we'll just switch around here. And let's take our right leg out and our left leg into our right thigh. So let's inhale up. Actually, before we start, let's move, move the fleshy part back here. So our pelvis is kind of coming forward, like our pelvis is the bowl and we're gonna tip water out in the front here. So we want that orientation. We'll inhale up and then exhale, start to fold forward. Trying to keep a flat back here. And again here, you can think about pulling your, the head of your thigh bone back into its socket so the right because we're kind of opening to the left, so we really want to fight that and pull this way, and then fold forward. Pulling our toes back. If you have a strap or anything, this is a good place to use it here. A necktie works very well as well, if you have one of those in your closet. And just relax your neck wherever you are. And again, you can shake it yes and no. One more inhale. And release a little bit deeper. And we'll push ourselves all the way up here. Let's take our right knee, our right leg, and bend it back here. Take our right hand to our left knee. Inhale, lift, and exhale, twist. Head coming around last. One more time, inhale up, and exhale, twist. We'll take a little counter twist, so come all the way around. Plant your hands on the right side of your leg and just kind of pull with your hands twisting yourself to the right side. And we'll come back to center. So let's take our left leg out, right foot into our left thigh. Let's pull our bum back. So we're facing forward here. Foot coming towards me, come, or towards uh, the face. We'll inhale up, and exhale, fold forward. Again, that opposing action of we're pulling our left hip back, right hip forward, and we're coming down. And again, drop your neck here. Just release it, we hold it up all day. And see what you can let go of here. breath cycle. And push yourself back up. We'll take our left leg back behind us here. 
Left hand to our right knee, right hand behind our sacrum. We'll push up and then twist around. I'm getting some good, some good adjustments here. Inhale up and exhale. Twist around. Let's twist all the way to the left here. Plant your hands to the left side of your left leg and just come down a little bit and twist over. Just a little counter twist. Good. So coming legs forward, adjusting toes towards the face. Inhale up, lengthen and exhale, fold forward with that length. So whenever you start to feel that length disintegrating, maybe that's where you need to stop. But again, you can drop your head. Go ahead and rise back up. Let's bring our feet to touch in front of us in Baddha Konasana. Pull, place your hands on your feet and pull your chest through here. So sitting up really tall, close your eyes, and start to pull your chest down towards your feet with a flat spine. And you can lengthen and pull back forward, and releasing your head. up and you can stay seated, seated like this so you can go ahead and cross your legs the way we began just take a moment to notice how we've opened up some spaces in the body being aware of a little extra length Maybe a couple centimeters here and there to give yourself the room for movement. Place our hands, palms facing up in a gesture of receiving. One more time, shoulder blades on your back, sit up nice and tall. Big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Hands to heart center. Let's take our thumbs to our third eye. And the light and love within me bows to the light and love within you. Namaste. Thank you all for practicing with me today. Please uh, like and favorite this video and come back for more. And we are, yeah, we're in the studio and we're filming. So please send us your uh, questions, comments, um, suggestions, and we will, get, we will get working on them. Glad to be back. Thank you all. Again, cold chance, Yoga TX. Think about visualizing that. Your shoulder blades coming together onto your back. Chin up. Sternum going towards the ceiling here. Exhale, we're gonna round. So bring your elbows together, tuck your chin as you start to curl your back. This should light up the muscles going on either side of your spine here. So you can control the intensity. So if you need to come, not go as far, this can be intense. Inhale.